The Nobel Prize, now in its 120th year, remains the most revered of scientific awards. But while the prize and many of its recipients are household names, the people and processes behind the awards are less well known. Chemistry World recently met with Bengt Norden, former chair of the Nobel Selection Committee for Chemistry, to find out more. In this, the first video in our series, Bengt explains the criteria that must be met to win a Nobel Prize. If we should look upon what uh, people, um, chemists, are curious about, or what happens on the other side of the curtains, uh, is of course uh, on what criteria are people selected for a prize. Mm -hmm. And um, this is something we can be open with, but many people do not know. They think that it's a, a, a lifespan achievement, which is not the case. Um, <coughs> we used to uh, use a few criteria like uh, the achievement should somehow uh, open a door should op or open our, our eyes, we will see things in a different way. Okay? So there should be uh, a, a substantial impact for the field of chemistry. Mm. We used also to say that it's good if there is not only one impact, but a richness of consequences. It's just another way of phrasing that it's quite almost of paradigmatic importance or breakthrough importance. Mm. It should be timely, which means that uh, it should not be something that was done very long ago and had only importance at that time. It could be something that was done very long ago, but where other things has later happened. Preferably there have been other discoveries as well, so you could share the prize with somebody way back and some younger person for something that has become very important now. Mm in the testimony of uh, uh, Alfred Nobel, it says that the discovery should be made during the year that passed. Mm. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> and uh, the, we, we are uh, again and again violating <laughs> against this, okay? For two reasons, two very important reasons. One is that uh, things take time, that it takes time to, to get the consequences. Mm. And the second is, it takes time to evaluate and confirm that uh, this was really the big groundbreaking discovery and that the person who is nominated is the right one. Mm. Okay, uh, There are uh, parts of the process that will not be well known because we have to keep it secret for 50 years at least. <laughs> Okay. So what? what uh, so what parts do you do you have to keep secret for for fifty uh, years? The processes, the minutes. You could go back to um, the price to Watson and Crick, for instance. That's uh, and you could ask for permission to go into the archives and see how the discussion went. And, uh, yes, <laughs> but um, that was some time ago. Mm -hmm.